Hi, my name's Cody. Here's some tips that every new volunteer needs to know when helping out with the dogs here at Our Companions. This is a Freedom No Pull harness. You can note it by the loop that's gonna end up on top on the dog's back. What we do is we ask our dog to sit. Bruce, sit. And then we use the treat to lead the dog through the harness onto his back. Once the harness is over his head, you take the strips, straps from underneath, click it into one side, Click it into the other side. This harness has a hook on the front and on the top. We use the hook on the front if we're worried that the dog is going to pull a lot or if the dog is going to be bigger for you to handle. This is the Premier SureFit harness. You'll know this one by the letter T of the straps. On top, this is what's gonna go over his head and end up on his back. Again, we get the dog to sit. Bruce, sit and then lead the dog through the harness using the treat. Once it's on his back, the straps go into the clip from underneath, behind his legs, and on the other side. There's a hook to hook the leash on the back. This can be used if the dog is gonna be really easy to walk, or you can always hook the leash to the circle on the front if the dog will be more difficult to walk or will be a powerful walker. If a dog takes treats too aggressively, you can solve it one of two ways. You can hold your hand out flat and allow them to take the treat that way, or hold the treat in a closed hand, turn it, and allow the dog to take the treat that way. A command we use frequently with the dogs is where we uh, ask them to touch our hand and then tell them yes and give them a treat, like this. Bruce, touch. Yes. The doors to the dog's rooms work with this latching mechanism. To open the door, you just move the latch and move on into the room. From the inside, it's a little more tricky. You need to reach through the bars to either close or reach around the outside to open the gates. The gates to get in and out of the dog yards work by pressing down the plunger on top and pushing the door open. They should close on their own, but you always wanna make sure that it has closed completely. When walking a dog, if you need to change directions away from a hazard, shorten the leash and take a few steps backwards and reward the dog for coming back to you. If a dog is reluctant to move forward, do not pull them using the entire length of leash. Shorten the leash, walk backwards, and reward them with treats or praise. Good boy, yes, good boy.